What's up, everybody? This is Alex with WMD back at you again, this time with a quick update on a couple modules we are working on. So this weekend is KnobCon, a synthesizer convention in Schaumburg, Illinois, and um, we're going to be demoing and showing these new products, but I figured I would just give a demo to the entire world via social media and YouTube. So that's what this video is. Um, the two modules we're going to be showing is Crater, the kick drum. So we've been talking about uh, making a kick drum for a while. And um, basically, we came up with a name. And I'm going to be showing you that. So that's Crater. And then uh, I'm gonna also going to be showing the workflow of Volterra. So Volterra is a four-channel CV expander for Metron, which allows you to get four CVs out. Um, works in conjunction with Metron. And uh, you can add up to 16 Volteras to one Metron. They connect in the back via little ribbon cables. And um, that would give you 64 outputs if you went all the way out to the limit. So a uh, super powerful thing. So first off, we're just going to start out with Crater. What we wanted to do in designing a kick drum was make something that sounded big and polished at the same time. So a lot of times in music, you hear these really nice thumpy kick drums with a high-end attack and those are created by layering samples or layering different kinds of sounds together and so we wanted to take that technique and put it into a module so crater has an analog side which is an analog oscillator with a pitch envelope a super long decay uh, envelope over the amplitude and uh, it's got three different clipping modes so you can get nice and raunchy if you'd like and then it's got this cool sustain level, which allows you to use gate, different gate lengths to sequence rhythms out of your kick drum and get kind of more sounds out of that. The pitch uh, is CV controllable, of course, but at one volt per octave, so you can actually use it for like hip hop style bass lines and things like that. Very stable oscillator. The digital side is for that high end attack or the click, if you will. So that is controlled by the click timbre knob here, which allows you to choose different high-end attacks that we've created, as well as the body, which is basically an envelope over those clicks, as well as a delayed noise um, that kind of creates that sound of like a snare rattling in the room or components on the actual bass drum itself, um, giving you more of a sampled kind of sound um, from a mostly analog kick drum. So uh, without you know talking too much, let's just let's just hear the thing. So I'm gonna just press play on my Metron and see what we got going here. All right, there we go. So let's pull out all these other channels and just listen to the kick drum here. So if I pull out the decay here, we can change the pitch. We can go all the way down into completely unaudible territory and up to pretty high pitch stuff. So let's just find a nice little subby sound that we like. And then we can add some attack with this pitch envelope. So this is no pitch envelope. And then we'll just add a little bit. That just gives us a little bit more attack. This is kind of like your 909 style. But we wanted to be able to mix the 909 sound with the 808 sound by increasing that decay time. So you can make that decay time super long. So I'm just going to trigger it once. And here we go. Just listen to how long that goes. So I'll pull that back a little bit. And then with the pitch decay, we can do a ton, right? So this is the amount of pitch decay. And then this knob is how long that envelope is. So you can go all the way from just nice subby kick drums to laser territory, if that's what you want to do, um, all just with a couple knobs. So super quick. Of course, these are CVable as well. So let's get that back here. And then one of the most unique things about the analog side of this kick drum is the sustain level knob. So what we wanted to do was, again, inspired by using samplers as kick drums, we wanted to be able to make long uh, kick drums and short kick drums at the same time. And um, we took inspiration from samplers and using gate mode. So when you have a gate, gate length and you're in gate mode, you can cut off the end of that kick drum, right? So what we've done here 
is giving you a sustain level control so you can choose how loud it's going to sustain and then you can use different envelopes. So right now I'm going to throw some 100% gates into it and then I'm going to throw some triggers in between. Turn that decay down a little bit. And then let's put some other gate lengths in here, so like some 50s. So you can hear we've got quite a few different sounds coming out of just this, uh, this one sound here just by uh, sequencing the gate lengths. And if I turn down the sustain level, you can kind of hear we've still got all that attack, but then the sustain's more in the background. So this is really nice for creating those kind of rolling bass line sounds. And if we do a super long uh, gate here, by sequencing the gate length. So that's a super fun way of sequencing the kick drum. Let's go back to just 100% gates on the quarter notes. All right, so the next thing to show you is this clipping mode. So we have three different clipping modes. So right now we're on the smooth mode. And if we go into the middle, we've got just a little bit of range there. If we go over to the side, we've got a lot more. Another cool thing we've got is this saturation. So if I put an offset into saturation, the saturation input, you can add a little bit of distortion with CV. So I'm just doing that with Volterra here using Volterra as an offset. So that lets you really dial in the amount of saturation that you want on your kick drum if you're not just going for full clipping. All right, and so the next part of the kick drum is the digital side. So right now we have no digital thing going on with this knob all the way to the left that disables the digital section and just lets you dial in the analog side. So if I bring this back up here, we have three different click levels, so right now I'm just going to go full click, and uh, we'll hear what it sounds like when I go through the different timbres. And then again with this body knob, you can hear that noise. We can kind of cut some of that out, and now we're just hearing the click. And again, this is just to help out with that high end attack and give you a little bit more of a unique sound. And now if I turn up this body control, you can hear that delayed noise, which is just kind of a little bit of rattling in the room. And then with this click the click level switch, we can turn down that overall click sound. So here's in the middle, and then here's all the way to the left. So just a little bit in there. So hearing it with the mix again. Let's change up our pattern here. So you can really hear that click just pushing through. Real quick, I'll just do some Volt Proactive stuff. So we'll get that kick drum here. And then I'm going to make more of like...
And then with my Volterra, I'm going to change the pitch here. So let's clear this guy out. And then let's make sure we've got a good uh, scale here. So I'll show you how to use this in just a second. So right now I'm just going to make these two notes one C, and then this last one we're going to change up. So as you can hear, just really nice sounding kick drum. Maybe turn up that pitch decay a little bit. And then give it some more body. So that's pretty much it for Crater. Uh, moving on to Volterra. So again, Volterra is four CV outputs for your Metron that you program in conjunction with Metron. So we're going to use Metron's grid to uh, program our steps. And then we're also able to do some recording. So right now, we're just going to do some parameters on the drums. So here's our line, right? And I'm just going to clear everything out. So to clear, I'm just holding clear, and I'm turning the knobs to maximum. All right, so now we're gonna talk about Volterra. Again, Volterra is four CV outputs for your Metron. It connects in the back via ribbon cable, and um, you can program the CVs in conjunction with Metron. So all you gotta do is hold the step you wanna change and turn the knob. It doesn't matter which track on the grid that you're holding as long as you're just holding a certain step, right? So right now, we're just gonna sequence some parameters on some drums and see how it goes. So. Just make our drum line again. And my second channel here is my clap. And I've got the first track out of Volterra going into the decay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold a button. I'm going to hold track two, and I'm just going to turn the knob. And every time it comes around to this section, we're going to hear it change, right? So now I'm going to go over to this one and make this one short. Now my second channel is going into reverb. So on my, on my short clap, I'm gonna make it reverb out. And on the first one, I'm gonna make it stop the reverb. If you wanna see where voltages are changing, you just hold the button on Volterra. And you can see that I've got voltage changing on track one as well as track two. So, this reverb thing's kind of cool, but I just want to record some knob action. So I'm just going to hit record enable and wiggle the knob. There we go. Channel three, forgot where it's going. Channel three is going into pitch on my Camaro. So yeah, I'm just going to record that one as well. And then channel four is going into the surface on Camaro. So I'll record that one as well. So a super fast way to sequence, you can hold the step, turn the knob, or you can uh, record stuff in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use Volterra to uh, sequence the notes mask on my architect. So I'm going to go through here, just make ourselves a little line real quick. And you can hear we're just going through the octaves. And I've got some resets programmed. So Volterra works like an analog sequencer. So you hold the step, you turn the knob, and that step, you're not gonna hear it change until we recall that step. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hit Volterra's button, and now we have a hard takeover while I'm holding the step. 
So I'll go over here and choose the chord, the note mask I wanna hear. And then why don't we go make this a two bar pattern. I'm just gonna hold step one on uh, bar two here, hit the button again, and there we go. want to take over any knob at any time, you just press the button and then turn the knob. And once you let go, it's just going to snap back to the sequence. So you can do hard, takeos, hard takeovers and offsets and things like that. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to sequence pitch with um, Volterra. So instead of using uh, Arpitect, I'm just going to go ahead and use Volterra. So we're going to take the one volt per octave and just plug it into track one on Volterra. And then I'm going to take, let's just grab this guy. I'm going to go out of channel 13 and go into our gate input on our envelope. And now you can hear this is our rhythm. So I'm going to change this guy up. Let's just make a one bar pattern to make it easy. All right, so there we go. And now what I want to do is I want to change the pitch uh, in a quantized fashion. So one cool thing about Volterra is that each channel can have a different quantization or voltage range. You change those just by holding global and turning the knob. And you can see right now that this says user. If I can get my hand out of the way, you can see we've got a keyboard right here. And that's how we quantize to scales. We can also go down here and do negative one volt to one volt negative five volts to five volts, zero to five volts, and the Q in the middle means quantize. Now we go over here, we've got negative one to one, zero to five, negative five to five, and those are all unquantized. But I'm gonna use the user scale, and I'm gonna set up a little minor scale. So if they're flashing, that means that the notes are active. So we're just gonna deactivate some notes. And now when I go through and program my steps, So a super fast way to sequence pitches. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm, variations also work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy and paste our variation over to B. And while we're listening to A, I'm gonna change up the rhythm. And then I'm gonna change up some of the notes. So again, we can see what note we're hitting on the display here. So if I get that out of the way for you. Gonna make a new line. And again, this is quantized to my user scale, so I can just pick pretty much any note. And then when we're ready, we'll just tell it to go to go to this variation and see what it sounds like. So that's pretty much it. Volterra is a great way to sequence parameters of other modules and pitches, and um, you can do that with your variation workflow of Metron. So I hope this has cleared up a couple things for people and uh, that you're as stoked about these modules as we are. And uh, yeah, come say what's up to us at KnobCon. And uh, if you're not there, always, you know, just like, subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, put anything you want to see in the comments. And uh, until next time, have a good one. Peace out.